Welcome to the great grand Indian wedding. Now I promise you that no other country celebrates or enjoys the madness and musty that goes into a shadi like we do. I mean lavish pre-wedding parties, designer clothes, choreographed dancing, never-ending food menus and of course a big, noisy, emotion-filled, drama-filled, uber-enthusiastic family that plays a leading role in it. Now, if there is a family, there's bound to be family one-upmanship. I mean, no wedding is really complete or at least as much fun without it. All in just to break the ice, I guess. Take Asa Auntie, for example. She's the bride's aunt's brother-in-law's Masi. So she knows this wedding has to be as perfect as the royal wedding. From the time the guests set foot in until their last goodbyes, she's gonna have her heart in her mouth, be in super hyper control freak mode. But hey, she means well. Oh. My auntie, from the groom's side. Rumor has it that she tries to set up at least two couples at every wedding. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so talking about boys, do you see that cutie in the corner over there? That's Rohan. He's the groom's best friend's younger brother. He's the one who gets the party started. Wedding or no wedding at all. So this is Dia. She's the bride's second cousin sister. She might be late to the party, but she knows how to make an entry. Mohan Chacha, the bride's foodie uncle. Uncle by relation, but don't you dare call him that. I mean, if he flirts with you, just ignore it. That man is one smooth operator. But don't ignore his food recommendations. He's eaten his way through all the restaurants in the city and trust me, he knows his aloo gobi from his foie gras. And the other guy on the table? That's Raghav sir. In relation, he's the groom's brother-in-law. But in reality, He's a walking, talking travel agency. From doing your honeymoon bookings to getting your expired passport sorted, he knows it all. And now, for the two main reasons for which we have gathered here today. The beautiful bride and her gorgeous crew. Aren't they just picture perfect? I mean, they really make you believe in true love. For now, it's time to get clicked and I need to go. Because what's a wedding without a group picture? <gasps> and as the families continue to banter, we can see that their playfulness will always stay alive. This is not just the perfect setting for two people in love to become one, but for both families to do so as well. We know their friendship is only going to grow stronger and richer with time. And what better place than Marriott to begin and celebrate this wonderful journey? Shadi Mubarak.